Gary Salo, Gold Motor Canada. Today I have a Windows 10 PC. People are asking if you can connect the USB for Windows through Windows 10 to program the controllers, and yes you can. So I'm just gonna go down here where I have an icon for the program. I put that there myself. It's not there by default when you install it, but this brings up the program. And uh, in previous versions of the program, it's, it seems to be improving all along. Uh, it depends on the software that's actually on the controller. It seems there's different versions of the software on the 531 controller. I don't even know how that can be. Uh, maybe I'm just thinking of the Magic Pi 4 software or the Magic Pi 4 controller, and now the Magic Pi 5 controllers are different. But anyway, the old method was you would select what COM port you wanted up here. And this machine only has one. Sometimes there'd be quite a few. And uh, then you would click connect here. And you would wait for the timeout error. And there it is and then you would turn on the battery and all the numbers would appear. But now with the newer controllers, that's not how it works. You can see none of the numbers appeared. So the way you do it now is I'll just close that window. I'll shut the battery off again. And uh, that clicking on and off is the battery going on and off. So the way you connect now is you just turn the battery on. And if you have the right COM port selected up here, you just click on connect. And there you are. There's all the numbers and you're successfully connected. So it's changed. Uh, things are improving. It's much easier to connect now. And I'm just going to briefly go through these numbers here. Uh, just so you don't have to refer back to other videos if you have one of the newer controllers just to see what the settings are. So first you start out at the top. You have the regen braking enable. Uh, that is enabled right now, and that's returning on and off the regen. Most people would want that on. The additional braking power is great. Uh, the next one down is reverse enable, and that would be for uh, allowing the uh, the bike to be able to be the wheel to be reversed. It takes a little additional wiring for that. Um, you go to my website, uh, click videos, go to my YouTube page, and then put in the search box forward reverse, and you'll find. Uh, a video on how to make the wheel go in reverse. Uh, the next one down is the pass ratio. I've never used the pass, but it's some sort of a setting as to, I don't know how much power it gives when you turn the wheel. I don't know. Uh, turn the pedals. Uh, the battery voltage, that's a big one. Right now it's set at 48. Uh, this is some, probably the most commonly used setting. And when you click on that, you can uh, select whether you have a 36 volt battery or a 24. And you can see the high voltage and the low voltage levels change as you select different ones here, right? So I have it set at 48, but if you were to change it, you would change that and then go up here and then click on download the, the settings to the controller and you just confirm it and then it's done. Now it's saved to the controller. And uh, the next one down here is the battery drawn current. Uh, that's the continuous amps from the controller that it can handle. Uh, you're set at the the setting here is 18, which is for a smart Pi controller. That's what I'm connected to right now, and I believe it's 21 for an Edge and 25 for a Magic Pi. Uh, the next one down is 56 here. This is the rated phase current. That's the maximum amps, the peak amps uh, for the smart Pi. It's 56. The Edge I think is 62, and the Magic Pi is 70. Uh, the magic for uh, the maximum forward speed right on, right here on the smart pie is 360. I believe it's set at 380 for the edge on the magic pie. Uh, these are the default numbers. You know you can click on them and change them, but I don't think you can go above a certain number. I know that uh, you can't go above 380. I don't know if you can go above 360 with the smart pie. Not sure, but um, <clears throat> the next number down is the D cell level. Uh, that is labeled incorrect. That should be the reverse speed. So the maximum forward rotation is 360 and the maximum reverse rotation is 65. So that's definitely labeled wrong. The one below that is the EBS phase current. That's your electric braking. And uh, it's set at 20% here. That's just quite low. Uh, that would be good for a front wheel. You know, you don't want too much braking on the front wheel. But for a rear wheel, you might want to raise that up to about 50%. And then the next one down is acceleration. And acceleration, uh, you know, I should get a little explanation here. Um, your throttle, when you turn it, when it's just at rest, it has 0 .0 or 0.8 volts. And when you twist it to full, it goes up to 4.5 volts. And that tells the motor how fast to spin. 
So if you had it set at 100% here for acceleration, some people call it the up-ramp speed. If you turned it from off to full, then the throttle voltage would jump from 0.8 to 4.5 immediately. Now, if you lower this number to say like 50%, uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but the idea of is it takes longer to reach the high voltage. So for example, if you put it at 50%, then the low voltage of 0.8 and the high voltage of 0.45 it might take up to like two seconds or so. If you twist the throttle hard right off the bat from off to full, it may take two seconds to get that full 4.5 volts. And this is good, I use this on my chopper. Uh, the front wheel would spin out uh, on takeoff. So I just cut the acceleration back and now it takes off nice and smooth without spinning out or anything. Uh, some people use this so the bike's not so jerky when you're turning the throttle. And it's also a great one for saving uh, battery power because the hardest thing on the battery is taking off. So if you make it take off a little slower and you pedal a bit, you'll definitely go a lot further. And uh, that's just basically what the, what the settings are and how to connect to the controller with Windows 10. And I should also note that the new method of connecting to the controller, I'm just going to turn the battery off here and I'm just going to go through that one more time. I'm just going to open the software here again. And what you do is you have the software open, you turn the battery on, you select your COM port here, right? And I only have one choice. If I had more than one, I would go see which one I have. And then you click connect and there you are, you're connected. So it's all very simple now. Now, sometimes people have trouble with this and I did have someone that, you know, switched the USB cables around and I used a different COM port and it worked. So I'm just going to show you, if you click on um, Start and then Settings, and then up here you click on Devices, this is how you get to your COM ports. And then up here you click Connected Devices, and then here you can see that the CH340 driver, which is the uh, USB driver for Gold Motor, um, it's at COM3. And you can go a little further down here, it's not really necessary, but I like this screen. And you can see all the COM ports that are connected to the computer. And you can see that my USB cable is plugged into COM3. So I'm in a USB port and what I'm going to do is I had someone that had a printer that was conflicting with really no idea that's what the problem was. But what he did was he unplugged the printer, like I am here. And then he took his USB cable and he moved it to the printer port. So you can see it's disappearing there. And uh, it's gone from COM3. And then I push it into the printer port. And there it is as COM4 now. So you can change what COM port it is just by putting the USB cable into a different port. And this computer has eight different USB ports, so I can get eight different COM numbers. And that may help you if you're having trouble connecting. But I just wanted to show you how to change that. And it's quite simple. And you can see definitely if you if you go to run the program and it shows you multiple COM ports and you want to pick one, you can come to this screen and you can see what COM port your USB cable is plugged into. The one that says three, CH340, that's the one you're on. So in this case, CH340 is in COM3. So just to review again, one more time, I'm in COM3 here. So to go into the program, all you do is you load the program up. Uh, where am I here? It's very hard to do this through the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna start the program, okay? And to connect, oh, my battery's already on, I'll shut it off. To connect, all you do is you select the proper COM port, and here if you had more than one choice, you would know what it is by going to that other screen and finding it out. And then you just uh, turn your battery on. Uh, you select COM3, which is what it is here, or whatever yours would be, and then you click connect. And there I am connected and then you can just go through all your settings again. So I hope that's clear enough, and uh, it's actually getting very easy to use now. So it's Gary Salo from Gold Motor Canada. Enjoy the ride, and thanks for watching. Bye now.